I come to entertain you. Today is a very special day. We are bringing in another powerhouse of old school action. The Serbian Express, the man whose chin was sculpted by the gods themselves, the one, the only, Dolph Lundgren. I must break you. It happened! It doesn't just go away! We're all fucking traitors. Turn around and stab you in the back. Let her go. I don't think so. Down. Now we're all in this together. You're a traitor too, aren't you? Oh, boy. Can this device of yours get us to race call? Now I'm going to teach you about the chain of command, Private. Whatever he hits, he destroys. What a man. So, today we are watching I Come in Peace, which was initially titled Lethal Contact, which then changed its name to Dark Angel for its international release as they learned there was a similarly named movie in the States, so it was finally rebranded as I Come in Peace. And maybe by the time this video is over, it'll have another name, because this is Red Eye Reviews. We start with a man driving down the street. Oh, son of a bitch. He sees something falling from the sky that just obliterates his poor vehicle. I'm coming, peace. You know what? All things considered, that was a pretty good first contact with an alien. It's so much better than how it actually would have gone down. Let's be real, if aliens first landed in the United States, we would be like, Space, huh? Cool. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you know him? Probably not. Uh, are you hungry? Go get you some McDonald's. Uh, no, it's a, it's a food place that used to be run by a clown, and uh, there was this dude named Grimace. He looked like a giant purple beanbag chair for some reason. Did you guys know the original Grimace had four arms and was actually evil? Yeah, I just blow your mind a better. But we cut to a police station where these two guys are attempting to steal some heroin. What seems to be the problem here, officer? You probably could have just reached out and stabbed him. You're pretty close, but I guess the throw does look cooler. But he meets up with his partner with the drugs, and they're, uh, they sort of look like discount versions of each other. There's a lot of standard looking people in this movie. Little insurance. What the hell for? No witnesses. <laughs> Somewhere else in the city, our hero Jack Kane and his partner are attempting to bust the criminal organization called the White Boys. Yeah, there was a White Boys in a Seagal movie. There's a White Boys in a Dolph Lundgren movie. White Boys are everywhere. That stolen heroin shows up, and our man tries to smell it through the plastic. It's sort of like when we all went candle shopping in 2020. Yeah, you don't feel much dumber than when you try to smell a candle through a mask. It was not old Red Eye's smartest moment, but uh, Dolph gets distracted by a convenience store robbery happening in the building next door. Money! 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 And these guys hate ceiling tiles. Like, man, peppered the shit out of those things. But Dolph busts in. He delivers a very impressive roundhouse kick to this guy's face. And if you're like me and you're thinking, wow, that, that kick looked like it wrecked that dude. It's because it did. The, the actor missed his mark on the floor and Dolph legit knocked this dude unconscious with this kick. Hey, that's a cool story you can tell at bars. You know, if, if you remember what happened. But back in Undercover, they reveal that they know this guy is a cop. And sadly, like, he tries to talk his way out of it. It doesn't really work. Our boy gets shot dead. However, while some of the gang members are still hanging out, our massive alien, now full of Big Macs, comes in hot. I'm coming, peace. And we get an actually legit camera angle. I mean it, like... 
This is so Sam Raimi, Evil Dead here, and uh, I love it. I really, really love it. But this alien is on a bender, so he steals the gang's heroin, pieces out. And heroin and McDonald's is a lethal combo, but you should slow down. I know this is day one on Earth, but take a chill pill. Ray! Come on, man! Come on! Come on! And then a lot happens very quickly. We learned that for some stupid reason, Dolph didn't record that meeting. So even though the guy was wearing a wire, I guess they were just supposed to take him at his word that they were bad guys. Then his boss holds him responsible for those drugs being stolen, despite that happening across town, kicks him off the case. But then some FBI guy shows up and is like, you better not kick him off the case. I need him. Oh, yeah. That lady in the background is his girlfriend. Why? We don't know. Uh, TV has made me think that this is a huge conflict of interest, and it's kind of crazy you're allowed to work on each other's cases. But anyways, now that he is back on the case, the FBI goes in even further, gives him a partner. So meet our boy, Larry. Partner? Kane, meet Special Agent Smith. You're kidding, right? He's our typical by-the-books detective who slowly learns to be cool throughout it and, you know, throws the rule book out the window. Exploit experts. Their expertise is essential. That's a quote, page 35 from the Switzer Man. External things are very important. They tell people who you are. You know what I mean? In that case, maybe you should write in the trunk. But you can't have an evil alien without a good guy alien cop. And that's what he looks like. Uh, man, he is not intimidating at all. He kind of looks like Clint Howard. <laughs> like, like put a beer helmet on him and you pretty much the same guy. But our evil alien is ready to attack his next victim. Oh, now I'm supposed to be scared? He attacks this man. He uses his wrist tentacle stabby thingy and throws that into the man's chest, pumps him full of some nasty white liquid, and then extracts something out of his brain hole. I come in peace. But across town, our cops are asking around for clues. The blood's leaving my head. Hey, thanks there, Larry, for telling us all that you have a boner right now. Love that image in my brain, pal. Speaking of boners, meet Boner. I think something's wrong with your ball, Boner. His name's Boner. <laughs> oh, good old Michael J. Pollard. You are one of the most unique looking people ever, and I'm sorry, Bill Murray let you freeze to death and Scrooged. But they head back to the first bar, and they discover the alien's evil flying Sam Raimi disc. That's the murder weapon, huh? You know, for somebody who claims to be so by the books, you definitely just try to grab a murder weapon without gloves on. Get down! They almost die twice. That's lovely. We cut across town to a parking garage. She's a ugly woman, and this is the truth. She got a big rotten tooth and a bugly boot. <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Alien Murder Man, sir. What the hell is up with you not telling the black guy that you come in peace? That's not a, that's not a stretch. You told the other white people that you caught your catchphrase, but not this guy? This is one racist ass alien. Thankfully, alien cop shows up, chases him around a while. And this right here will be a repeated theme. Ba basically, anytime the aliens fight, things will explode. Like everything, all the things explode. But Dolph brings the disc back to his place. He plans on bringing it to his guy, you know, because we all have a guy. I want that disc. Yeah, Lair, maybe you should try to grab it again. It worked out so well the first time. Not bad. Sometime later, we see that his place got broken into and trashed and his place is messed up. Hey, you got to admire the commitment of whoever the hell nudged that painting all the way in the corner. And can we just talk about why this is a thing in every movie? Like, why would somebody trash us the place? They're like, let's make sure to slightly skew all this man's artwork. Don't take it off the wall. Just slightly skew it. It'll drive him crazy. 
across town our alien attacks a lady mechanic and again more weird white liquid stuff and brain juices Ugh, this, this dude better not be laying eggs in these people whatever this is it's nasty our detectives go they chat with Dolph's guy and he this guy's easily the best character in like the whole movie I gotta relax just like that tribe in Africa and then they kill you Hey, you've got nothing to worry about. But he's so shaky. He's a ton of fun. He He's pulling a Walter White coffee machine before Walter White was even Walter Whiting. They head to the girlfriend, coroner lady. She tells them about these weird deaths. Massive heroin overdose. And this guy was no addict. It's definitely not self-induced. Your psycho stole a lot of heroin to kill people with. Ah, okay. So the white stuff is heroin. And then he's extracting endorphin juices. Are you telling me that our evil alien is just like some interplanetary junkie trying to score some human goo goo? That's an amazing premise. But also, reflections. How the hell do those things work? Dolph now believes the white boy gang is doing these killings and he heads straight to their base. <laughs> Very by the books, gentlemen. Yes, we all know that standard procedure is for the entire first floor security to evacuate the building whenever any car alarm goes off. Not here. Guns on the table. All right. And every person in this meeting is packing heat. Our sales in the last three days have gone straight into the crapper. We'll be talking no bonuses this quarter. <laughs> Sir, uh, wait. Uh, I, I'm putting a pool into my yard and I already paid the installment. So like, I really, really need this bonus. They capture his partner. They tell him that he has to deliver some drugs for them or they're going to kill his partner. They're cops. Why don't they just call it in? I, I don't know. It's kind of a dumb scene, but you know, here we are. Tell the white boys to kiss my ass. Yeah, screw you and keep my business too. PTO's already submitted for this quarter and do not let Stacy take next weekend off. I already told her no. But outside, we see our aliens again. But now, Dolph realizes that aliens are behind everything. They control the government. They control all the buildings around. Discovery Channel's going to do a whole special. And now that the alien has more heroin, he can go and get more sweet, sweet endorphin juice. Hey. I come in peace. Yeah, sure you do, tall guy. What are you? Hold oh, hey. But during this fight, our good guy alien gets shot in the stomach. Or whatever an alien calls their midsection. I don't know. It might not be a stomach. Oh, okay. Uh, sir, you need to eat less cottage cheese. I don't know why the inside of an alien looks like this. It also appears to have interior lighting installed. What? Do you have like little cottage cheese Keebler elves living inside of you, sir? I have so many questions. When the cops investigate the latest attack... The alien cop hides in Dolph's car. He must be stopped. Oh, Pal, I, I get you're dying, okay? Just, can you do it quieter? There's just a lot of breathing sounds going on, and that's kind of a thing for me. You must promise me. <laughs> he, he self-destructs when they die. And more light. He's like, a, you're a power plant now? Where is this all coming from? Also, uh, sir, if you are a good guy alien, maybe tell these dudes that you're about to explode. Maybe be like, oh, by the way, in a few seconds when I die, which it's pretty likely because all of my cottage cheese and marshmallow goo is falling out, I, I'm going to literally explode. Like, for real. So maybe just get out of the car when that happens. They get his alien boom boom explosion gun. We're excited to blow some stuff up ourselves. By the books, Larry does decide to bring that gun back to his boss. 
You okay? As far as you're concerned, this case is closed. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Trust me. Oh, snap. Okay, yeah, that's bad. But you can still get out of this. Nobody knows who killed him. Nice going, Lair Bear. You, you put your notebook on his body. Yeah, that won't be linked to you at all. But they go, they hunt the evil alien down. No, 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 get out! I... Ah! Ah, so much action! In the fight, he drops his drug-carrying compartment. Looks like we've got what he came for. Dolph, you've been leaping to conclusions the whole movie. For all you know, this could be alien five-hour energy drinks. Or maybe he's an intergalactic essential oil salesman. You don't know. But they gather themselves, and they devise a plan... The girlfriend shows up because, you know, she's the third build actor on this movie. She's got to be involved a bit more. Jack, I wish you'd just tell me what the hell is going on. You fucked up, Kane! You white boys really took a back seat in this story. I personally thought you'd be much more important, but you're, you're just not. So, alien druggie attacks everybody. He chases our heroes down to a factory because we all know things have to end in a factory. Are you, are you good? Do you need to catch your breath for a second? Like, why, why do these aliens have breathing problems? You guys like the pugs of the universe? Stop inbreeding. Diver, diversify your gene pool. Wait, he has control over the tentacle thing? So it's like a part of his body or something? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to second guess what was actually in those little vials he injected people with. Ugh, you, you nasty. But they get into a final fight. What a loophole. His, his skin is bulletproof, but it's not rusty pipe proof. We're not going to logic that any further. Let's move on. The alien gets blown up by Dolph, and our movie comes to an end. You go in pieces, asshole. But what a way to start out Dolph Lundgren's adventure. It had so many explosions, right? Who needs to tell an interesting story when you distract them with fire? So, let's keep on distracting everybody and head on over to Red Eye Reacts. I come in peace. I come in peace. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. I came here to think. Ah, you scratched. Now, here are some of my favorite scenes. Procedures, procedures. You're still going on report for your mistreatment of Boner. If you were Santa Claus, you're dead, pal. It's me, it's me, goddammit, don't shoot! It's like turning your radio dial to K-I-L-L. -L. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, shit! If anybody's gonna be killed, I guess it's just gonna have to be. Why do you have two copies of the same book? In case I want to read it more than once. Baby clothes. This place has got everything. <laughs> Drug war? <laughs> you're gonna kill him <laughs> that is everything thank you so much for watching we are gonna watch plenty more Dolph on this channel so if you liked what you saw please subscribe to the channel like this video leave some comments down below a huge shout out to the patrons who voted for today's movie 
If you guys want the power to do what they do, you can head to the Patreon page and sign up there to do so. That link is down below. Once again, you guys hit it out of the park. I am super excited to watch more Dolph on this channel, and I hope you are as well. If you want to join my Discord channel, that link is down below also, and the merch store link down below. I will see you all next time, and until then, stay happy and stay healthy. I gotta relax.